What is good, everybody? Today we're back with brand new action figure news. WWE action figure news or wrestling action figure news. We finally solved a mystery and we have some brand new figures to talk about and discuss with new imagery and all the different things discussed, man. So it should be a fun one. But the news just keeps on coming, man. The news keeps on coming and it don't stop coming just like Smash Mouth. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. We got some good news here today and we're going to dive into everything, man. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into it. Let's start things off with this right here because I felt like this was a mystery that's kind of been upon us. And we actually in this video, we actually solved two mysteries, or actually three, maybe even three. I mean, it's kind of crazy. We're uncovering all types of damn mysteries today, cold case files. Where I mean, we're, we're we're breaking open the knowledge. Let's get into it, man. Let's start things first off with this right here. If you guys remember the Hardy Boys that they've been showing off, we saw it on display at Fan Fest. We got some other images leaked the other day. We talked about this image. Apparently, Brad, this has been an Amazon exclusive two pack the entire time. Would have never thunk it. Remember, we saw these figures back on display. Ringside Collectibles posted up images of these. And then remember, they took away the Matt Hardy, and it was like, oh, shoot, I have an image of that Matt Hardy. And then we talked about it there. And then we got to see that leaked image just the other day of these same figures, but it was a more clear image. You know, it was more close up. It was kind of like in the damn, I don't know, it was it was like some sort of underground black market photo to the unknown, you know what I mean? But now we have a men on card photo of the same two-pack. It is going to be a Hardy Boys Amazon two-pack that should be going up soon. It may even be up for order now. I don't have a link for you, but I, I imagine that it's got to be, right? It's got to be up at some point or something. I'm not entirely sure here. But we have Matt and Jeff Hardy here. You guys can see they're doing their signature poses in the packaging. This is a very sweet pack. This is a sick pack. This is a pack that I'd probably get autographed. And I enjoy the Amazon 2 packs from AEW and Jazz Wares. And usually they are repaints of certain figures. And I think these are going to be repaints of certain figures. But this is an easy 2 pack. And we've discussed this. But I didn't know this was a 2 pack. I thought these were single releases. We do know that we're getting the all black gears, which are going to be sweet. But this is kind of like a repaint. Re repaint of those figures, even if the shirts are different. Nonetheless, it is a cool set, and being a huge Hardy Boys fan, a big Jeff and Matt Hardy fan, I think this is a great pack. I love the shirts. The mesh shirt looks great. The regular cloth good shirt looks great. Definitely going to have to be washing these shirts to make sure they don't stain, but at the end of the day, this is a great pack, and I know a lot of people are probably going to be buying a ton of this pack, and I, I hope that it'll be easy to obtain like other packs, because I imagine a lot of people are going to be wanting these for the cloth goods and the different parts for the Jeff Hardys and such, so it should be fun, man, but this is a cool set, and I wanted to get on here and kind of solve the mystery of where the hell these Hardys, where, like where did these come from? Everybody was kind of discussing what these were, how they were, all those things, but we finally have it solved here, man. We have this Hardy Boys 2-pack from Amazon. I, I didn't even expect that. I thought those 2-packs were kind of done for, but it looks like we do have a couple more there, but let's move on. We have another 2-pack. It is going to be the Ultimate Edition Amazon exclusive. So we have two different Ultimate Edition, or not two different Ultimate Editions. This is two different Ultimate Editions, but two different 2-packs that are Amazon exclusive. We have the Greatest Grudges 1992 Ultimate edition curse of papa shango and ultimate warrior two pack right here and we saw these on display at san diego comic-con but these are way better images and i i love the way these figures look they really do look great i think the attire looks so damn good on warrior and you guys know i'm not the biggest warrior guy i you, you, you've heard it from the horse's mouth i am not a big warrior guy but very toyetic very toyetic i love the white and blue too my two favorite colors up night you know side by side here in the figure you have this tealish blue light blue color with the orange and yellow. Just a brilliant looking figure. And then an Ultimate Edition Papa Shango that I think looks so good. I love the skull necklace and all the different bells and whistles going on here. Such a really nice lineup of figures. And then to talk about the damn Ultimate Warrior jacket, what a beautiful good jacket. What a great jacket. I think it looks so good. And you guys can see it has Ultimate Warrior on the back. It's such a, what a sick piece. And then you even have the entrance gear for Papa Shango. So this is actually a really, really un underrated two-pack. I imagine this is going to be hitting before the end of the year, and I could see these two figures being up there on some people's on some, on some people's list here for the best Ultimate Editions of the year here. I think it looks great. What a great looking set, and again, possibly my favorite Ultimate Warrior figure they've ever made. It just looks built differently. I, I don't really know what's going on there, but it looks really, really good here. I'm noticing, is that two of the same exact head sculpt? I'm not entirely sure what's going on there in the one Ultimate Warrior pick, and also I apologize if some of these images don't look the best. It's because I had to screenshot these from a real. So that's why they probably don't look the best of all time. I couldn't find any other images, but this is a really cool set. We saw these back at San Diego Comic-Con again, but we have better images now. Again, when, you, when you're at Comic-Con and you see these things in person, they look good, but you can't really capture the photos and everything, and the lighting's different, and the angles, and it's just difficult because you're looking at the same figure in the same kind of display over a span of days, and there's so much other stuff going on. In these images, you can kind of settle down and look at different angles, so that's what I want to talk about there. So we do have the Ultimate Warrior and Papa Shango 
two pack, which looks sweet. This is very sweet. And I think even if you don't want to put that jacket on Warrior, which I know, you know, the back does have Warrior on it. Depending on what the front looks like, you may be able to get away with it with other characters. But let's move on to another Ultimate Edition. The Ultimate Edition Amazon exclusive fan takeover. Was this, was this some sort of Amazon day? Was there like some sort of Amazon reveal or something? I'm noticing that everything on this video right now is Amazon exclusive. Maybe I'm tripping. I told you my Fridays are packed, man. I don't ever have nothing. I don't, I don't ever know nothing that's going on outside of the world. So this Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition is finally here. The Amazon fan takeover. I feel like we finally have an update on this on this figure right here. We've been waiting forever to get updates. Soon is what I'm told. November is when this should be shipping. I'm hoping that it's before that, but we do have our orange gear right here, which uh, we talked about it before. I think it's a really toyetic figure. It looks great. I love the, you know, the fire shirt and the wings and the helmet and everything going on with it is a cool figure. I just wish that it wasn't this attire necessarily just because I feel like we haven't really had a standard gear Seth Rollins in a really long time. Even though his first ultimate was so damn good. This is a really cool figure. I'm very much looking forward to this. Probably one of the more and most anticipated figures here, but this should be fun. I'm hoping we get an ultimate edition of his Mania 40 gear. I think that would be really good as well, but this one is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it, and I think that, you know, we've, we've waited forever on this figure, so hopefully, sooner rather than later, we will have this figure in hand, but it is no chest hair, no stomach hair. There's some details here and there that, you know, it's, it's this repeat head sculpts. It's not just overly immaculate. I am much looking forward to this, though, as a Seth Rollins guy. This should be a fun set, and I do notice that he has shin cut, so that's always good. You love to see shin cut in there, and I think these legs, these legs don't look to be pinless, so you may be able to stick some kick pads up in here and make a normal attire, which is something that I think surgery is calling for. Just to get him out of this pants look, you can make him look like he has tights, even if it would look kind of baggy, possibly. I think he could get away with it. It, it. I think you could really mess around with parts and make this guy into a normal Seth Rollins attire with just normal kick pads without pants. I think that's going to be something that we try to do on surgery, so we will definitely attempt that, but I'm looking forward to this Seth Rollins figure, even if it isn't his most popular gear of all time. It is certainly toyetic. Now, let's move on to the next set, man. We have the Mattel Creations exclusive WWE Elite 2-pack headbangers. Now, this is going to go up for pre-order on September 12th, I think it is. I think there's a countdown right now on Mattel Creations on when this figure set is going to go up for pre-order. Certainly going to be grabbing this set. I think that the kilts look good, the shirts look good, the likeness looks good. Again, we did see these guys back at WrestleMania 40, and they look really damn good in person, and they look good here. I think that these are, I mean, pretty much perfect. It does look like they're going to use the Daniel Bryan torso, which I th I just don't like. I don't like it for these guys either. I know they weren't the biggest guys of all time, and I do like the shorts molds they have going on right here, but I would prefer them to do the, I think we need to see a lot more of the Terry Funk torso rather than this torso, or hell, even the Matt Hardy Bo Dallas torso that we like to talk about. I prefer those torsos over some of these other torsos like Daniel Bryan torso. Just not a good torso, but comes with the world tag titles, comes with their skirts slash kilts, comes with their shirts, comes with necklaces. Very fun figures right here, very expressive. I'm looking forward to these nonetheless. I, I, a couple of figures that we have waited so very long on, but I'm looking forward to the set, and I, I am very much looking forward to it, and even, I think you'll be able to, if you wanted to customize these, you might have some options here with the shorts display. I can think of some different guys to go right here, but they did use some Daniel Bryan torsos, unfortunately, but it's still a cool looking pack. I like the imagery. I really love the packaging with the Raw's War logo behind them. It really completes it there. Just a great looking set overall, and I, I love this packaging. I don't know what it is. It reminds me of the early 2000s, late 90s. Just heavy vibes going on right there, but we also have a look at some Elite 114 figures men on card, and you'll notice that one of these figures is going to be Tommaso Ciampa. So we have a new updated Ciampa right here. This is one of the mysteries from Elite 114. So I told you we're solving all the mysteries. The fan takeover Rollins finally, you know, making it out. We're getting some updates on that figure. Should be hitting very, very soon. We have a the Hardy Boys 2-pack was finally solved, and now we get to see Ciampa right here. Now this is the only image that we have, so unfortunately we don't have any loose images. But look at this vest. It does look like it's going to be cloth goods, and it looks like a repaint of the ringside exclusive. It looks like they did use the right torso. It looks like it's going to be the exact same formula on the bottom, which I know they make his thighs pretty small, but at least it's going to be, you know, the right torso and everything like that. Good looking likeness. A good looking Ciampa figure. I think this is going to be a very, very solid Ciampa figure right here in Elite 114, and it looks exactly like I thought it would. I knew it would be an updated Ciampa. I figured it'd be the blue and yellow, and that's exactly what we have here. So this Ciampa figure does look pretty good. I think they did a good job here from what I'm seeing, and I'm, I'm hoping to see some loose images relatively soon. I imagine Elite 113 should be hitting relatively soon as well, maybe in the next three or four weeks. 
And then Elite 114, I imagine, would soon follow right after that. But we also have a mid on card shot of Jimmy Uso from Elite 114. And this is something we didn't know. Elite 114 Jimmy, he is going to be in the plain black. We saw it at Comic-Con. He is going to have the interchangeable hairpiece again. He's going to come with a bandana. But one thing we didn't know about is that he is going to be the Chase variant. So him and Jay are both the Chase variant. And we didn't know that he was going to be in the We The One shirt. So you get the We The One shirt that came with the Ultimate Edition. It's going to be on this figure. And I'm very much looking forward to this figure because it is such a good base. It's a brand new sculpted jogger mold that I've been looking forward to. And I think that you're going to be able to use these legs on Roman Reigns and use these legs on different characters that really add to our figures since we haven't gotten a promo gear officially hopefully that'll change soon but this Jimmy figure does look really good it's actually one of the I know it's very boring to a lot of people but it's one of the figures I'm most looking forward to in the next couple waves so this Jimmy Uso looks good and again he is the chase variant with Jay and I hope that they do those guys in some gear where either they were facing each other or they do it in a gear that is a tag team set I would like to see WrestleMania 39 personally in elite form but who the hell am I Brad but outside of that I think that is all of the figure news that we have here today man again I think it was was a pretty good day of news. A lot of new things that we have discussed here. We had the Amazon 2-pack Hardy Boys. We got to see the Ultimate Edition 2-pack between Shango and Ultimate Warrior. We saw the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins in the orange. Got to see the Headbangers, which look really good as well, and the pre-order date for those. Got to see Tommaso Ciampa from Elite 114, finally. At least we got an update on that, even if we didn't get to see all the loose imagery, which, when they do all of the loose images on all of that wave, we will probably do another video of news. And they usually put all that stuff up together, but we will do that as well with Elite 114, Jimmy and Jey Uso and whatever the hell else is in there. They also had an image of Zoe Starks, but I felt like we got to see pretty much what she's going to be about, what that figure is going to be, and so I didn't really want to put it in the video because we've seen loose images of it. So why would I want to see a men on card version of it if we've already seen all the bells and whistles in a loose version? You know, she was at San Diego Comic Con. We got to see what that figure looked like. So that was all that. And then Steve Ozer did post up, you know, some different some different videos of different figures that are coming, and he did an interview on the major pod, I do believe, and I haven't gotten to listen to it yet, but I don't know if there's any information in there that was worthy of. I'm sure there was something in there that we could probably make a video on, but I haven't listened to it yet again because I have been so crazy. So that pretty much wraps up today's video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on all this news down in the comment section below, what your reaction to it is, man. There's been a lot of news over the last few days, so if you guys are not caught up to date, there is plenty. I mean, there is at least four or five videos, I think, over the past week, where if you listen to all of it, just back to back to back to back, it would also play as a massive news video pretty much for you. So you could either listen to that in like a podcast form, just play the WWE slash AEW figure news playlist on the, on the channel, and you can listen to all of of them in a row or just you know click on them go to the channel go to videos and then just play one after the other so you can listen to that and sometimes that's what I like to do on different channels so you could do that if you wanted to listen to everything there but that's pretty much gonna wrap the video man hope you guys did enjoy huge shout out to our patreon members man thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always man thank you guys so very much for everything hope you guys did enjoy I'd love to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below but I'm getting the hell out man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and I'll catch you guys later